today i am going to explain rbi that means reserve bank of india so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so first of all let's see meaning of rbi that means reserve bank of india reserve bank of india is the central bank of our country means india it was established on 1st april 1935 under the rbi act of 1934 so very simple rbi is the central bank of india it holds the apex position in the banking structure that means at the top position of all the banks in india rbi performs various developmental and promotional functions on 1st january 1949 it was nationalized its headquarter is at mumbai as of now 26 public sector banks in india out of which that means out of this 26 public sector banks 21 are nationalized banks and 5 are state bank of india and its associate banks for example federal reserve bank of usa that means for usa the central bank is the federal reserve bank bank of england in uk that means for uk central bank is the bank of england and reserve bank of india in india that means rbi is the central bank of india so sometimes central bank is also known as bankers bank now types of banks now here you can see this rbi is the apex of all the banks and that's why it is called as bankers bank and these all types of the banks are under this rbi so we can say in another word this is the banking structure in india now the functions of rbi issue of currency development role banker to government banker to bank role of rbi in inflation control formulate monetary policy manager of foreign reserve clearing house functions regulation of banking system so these are the major functions of the rbi now let's see one by one all the functions briefly so let's start from the first one issue of currency the goal of ensuring an adequate supply of clean and genuine notes so this is the primary function of the rbi so we can say issue of currency next issues new currency and destroys currency and coins not fit for circulation so this is also the another role issues of new currency and destroy the currency which are not fit for the circulation it has to keep in forms of gold and foreign securities as per statutory rules against notes and coins issued next function of the rbi is development role to develop the quality of banking system in india so this is the major role of the rbi it performs a wide range of promotional functions to support national objectives to establish financial institutions of national importance for example nabard idbi etc now the third one banker to government so name itself indicate banking to the government performs all banking functions for the central and the state governments and also acts as their banker accepting that of jammu and kashmir so this is a very important point perform all banking function for the central as well as state governments here this is the exceptional case jammu and kashmir bank so note down over here jammu and kashmir is actually not performing the banking function for the central and state governments it makes loans and advances 
to the states and local authorities. It acts as advisor to the government on all monetary and banking matters. Next one, banker to bank. So very simple, name itself indicate transfer funds and settle inter-bank transactions. All banks operating in the country have accounts with the Reserve Bank. RBI regulates the opening of branches by banks. Next one, role of RBI in inflation control. Inflation arises when the demand increases. Very simple, you can understand. Whenever there is a high demand, definitely inflation arises. That means the price of the basic necessary products increases. And there is a shortage of supply. RBI has two policies in this situation. First, monetary policy. It includes the interest rates. Means when the bank increases the interest rates, then there is a reduction in the borrowers. And people try to save more as the rate of interest has increased. So this is the first policy to control the inflation. Very simple. It is related with the interest rates. When the bank increases the interest rates, then there is a reduction in the borrowers. That means if the interest rate is high, definitely uh, there is a reduction in the borrowers. That means the people are not looking to take money from the banks. That means there will be the less supply of the money in the market. And people try to save more money as the rate of interest has increased. Second one, fiscal policy. That is the second policy to control the inflation. It is related to the direct taxes and government spending. When direct taxes increase, the disposable income of the people reduces. Disposable income that also we have discussed in the last video. So very simple, when the direct taxes increase, the disposable income of the people reduces because of the most of the income that is used in the direct taxes and so that the demand reduces. Next one, formulate monetary policy. Maintain price stability and ensuring adequate flow of credit in the economy. So that is one more function of the RBI to maintain price stability. It formulates, implements and monitors the monetary policy. Next one, manager of foreign reserve. To facilitate external trade and payment. To promote orderly development and maintenance of foreign exchange market in India. RBA buys and sells foreign currency to maintain exchange rate of Indian rupee versus foreign currencies like the US dollar, euro, pound and Japanese yen. So very simple, RBI buys and sells as and when it is required to maintain the exchange rate of Indian rupee. It acts as a custodian and manages the Foreign Exchange Management Act FEMA that was established in 1999. Next. Clearing house functions. The RBI operates clearing houses to settle banking transactions. The RBI manages 14 major clearing houses of the country situated in different major cities. The State Bank of India and its associates look after clearing houses function in another parts of the country as an agent of RBI. So, State Bank of India is actually as an agent of RBI to look after clearing houses function in other parts of the country also. Next, regulation of banking system. 
the prime duty of the reserve bank is to regulate the banking system of our country in such a way that the people of the country can trust in the banking system so it is very important part so look at once again carefully the prime duty of the reserve bank is to regulate the banking system of our country in such a way that the people of the country can trust in the banking system the reserve bank has following powers in this regard first one licensing every bank has to obtain license from rbi next management rbi can change manager or director of any bank as and when it is required next branch expansion every bank has to take prior permission from rbi to open new places of business in india so every bank has to take prior permission from the rbi to expand their business next power of inspection of bank rbi may inspect any bank at any time so these are the different powers of rbi to regulate the banking system in india if you have any doubt then write your question in the comment box thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate